Hey, what's going on guys? Calvin Russell here, co-owner of Park Place Realty. Today we're going to talk about the five reasons why we think this house will not sell. All right, so let's go ahead and start with number one. All right, you already got gutter damage, okay, outside, and the gutters are actually kind of crooked, so now they're getting full. And once you have full gutters, what where the water is going to go? The water is going to backtrack its way in inside the house. All right. Now the seller, I'm sure they know about this. They just painted over it, but because of this, this is going to be one of the reasons why this hard, this house is going to have a hard time selling. You already got water damage that's already starting to break in between the walls. And again, painting over it is not going to fix it. Let's go to number two. Second reason why we think this house is gonna have a hard time selling, what else do I need to say, right? What is that? This is the shower head. Exactly, same thing I was thinking. I know what kind of look they were going for. You know, you walk into those really nice hotels and it has a really nice bathroom and it has that over the head shower head. That's what they think they were doing here. This was a straight miss, okay? So that's number two. Number three, something really small. A lot of like things you would, you would expect to see in a house are slowly starting to be missing. So for example, you see here, there is no uh, mirror inside the bathroom, okay? So again, just a couple small things you're gonna have to buy, but who wants to go into a property that's claimed to be rehab, and of course you're missing something as basic as the bathroom mirror. Let's go ahead and look at reason number four and five. All right, guys, reason number four why we think this house won't sell, all right, is going to be the, the drywall job, especially inside the kitchen. We can easily tell that the drywall was laid. It was not, this looked like it was a rush job, okay? Uh, because as we know with drywall, you gotta, you know, you gotta put the drywall up, uh, you gotta mud it, you gotta wait for it to dry, you know, and then of course, you know, you gotta do all that stuff, right? So as you're doing that stuff, if you don't wait you know, or you don't like, you know, spread it out evenly, it's gonna look like this. This looks like one of us, no, you know, I, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, when people say, oh, my brother does this, or my uncle does this, this is the type of job that they're talking about. When they say, oh yeah, just give me a six pack, this is what you're gonna end up getting for that six pack, okay? Let's go ahead and go into uh, reason number five. All right, guys, the bathroom. Now, it's okay for bathrooms to be small. That's not the problem. Problem is, where is the sink? You got, of course, your uh, your full standing uh, shower head, which is kind of dirty, by the way. And then, of course, you have the toilet right behind me. But then you also have the bathroom sink, which is kind of in an odd place. You have to step all the way in and then, of course, close the door and the light switch is right there. I know that probably wasn't what the, the look that they were going for, but they could have had the door open this way. That way it's an inward swing. They can walk into the sink and then close the door. But with this way, you actually have to come all the way in. Now, it's easier for me, but if you get like a certain size, then you may, it may be difficult to get all the way around and close the door. Again, that's just my take on it. All right, guys, you guys got a chance to see the five reasons why I think this house may not sell. Listen, I know that there's, there's a house out here for every person. And depending on their situation, they may love this house. And this house is not completely horrible. But these are just some things that, again, that deter a lot of buyers away, especially when you say a house is completely rehabbed because they either have to redo things or they have to buy certain things as soon as they come in. You can't say move-in ready if it's not move-in ready. But everyone has their own definition of move and ready, okay? And again, these are just my opinions. I don't want you guys to hate me for showing you guys this stuff. But again, you know, as real estate agents, people expect, to, expect us to always show just the good side of things. But me, I like to point out everything because here's the deal. In real estate, you're gonna either have a problem right now, let's go ahead and get that situated, or you're gonna overlook that problem and then later down the line, it becomes a bigger problem. Okay? Don't force yourself to go into a property. Don't talk yourself into a property. Either you like it or you don't like it, and there's plenty of inventory out here to choose from. Okay, But again, that's just my opinion. So of course, if you guys like this video, like it. If you want to share it, share it. And as always, be sure to subscribe as we got nothing but great content well on the way. Thank you guys so much. and see you on the next video.